Now, after the implementation of the Sharia laws, the Sultan of Brunei has said, and I quote, that Brunei is a fair and a happy nation thanks to the Islamic ideology. The Southeast Asian nation drew international condemnation for a set of Sharia laws which will now seek to punish sodomy, adultery and rape with the death penalty and it also is death by stoning. Now, the United States has condemned Brunei's decision to implement the laws and has urged the nation to ratify and implement the United Nations Convention Against Torture. The United Nations Human Rights Chief has also criticized the move, saying that the new laws deal a serious setback to human rights. Now, Israel claims that it has recovered the body of a U.S.-born Israeli soldier who was missing since... 1982 tank battle against the Syrian forces. The soldier at that time was 21 when he had fought in Israel's invasion of Lebanon and was declared missing in action along with two other soldiers in the battle of Sultan Yaqub. The Israeli military has said that the body was identified by DNA testing. It was flown in by the Israeli airlines. Two other Israeli tank crew members are still listed by the military as missing in action from the June of 1982. South Korea has returned the remains of about 10 soldiers of the Chinese People's Volunteers who were killed in the 1950-53 Korean War. The plane of the Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force carrying the remains touched down at an airport in Shenyang in northeast China. The coffins were covered with China's national flags, which is the highest honor that is given by the PLA. The more than 200 people attended a ceremony held at the airport to welcome the Chinese soldiers' remains.